Hi everyone and welcome to the Mach 5 Boeing 737 training series. My name is Daryl and today we are going to be looking at how to fly an ILS approach. Check out the link in the description to download the Boeing 737 flight sim checklist that I'm using today as well as the Mach 5 Boeing 737 flight sim guide. On the Mach 5 channel you can find all my video tutorials, guides, gameplay and other reference material. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. All right, hi everybody. We are now on uh, radar vectors for the ILS approach for runway 04 right in Detroit. I have the uh, approach set up. I did my approach preparation in the cruise phase. We're now on radar vectors. So I have extended, I have put my final approach fix in the L1 on page one of my legs page and I've uh, put an intercept course of 036 degrees and executed that. And here's an example of how to do that. You just grab the final approach fix, you place it in the L1 point, you put inbound course of the approach in there, 036 degrees, execute it, and what that does is that extends the center line for you. So I can zoom that out just a little bit uh, so we can see a little bit more clearly. You've got the runway there, you've got the final approach fix, and the center line has been extended. So I'm going to say now, let's, uh, for example, maybe ATC's uh, giving us uh, radar vectors, they'll give us a turn to intercept. I'm going to drop flaps one right now. Start slowing the aircraft down. I'm even going to go all the way to flaps 5, bug my speed back to the flaps 5 uh, maneuvering speed. And if ATC calls up now, it gives us a turn. Maybe 350 uh, degrees. And we can see here we've just identified the. Um, ILS, IDTW, course 036 degrees. So that's tuned identified and we're 16 miles from the, uh, from the threshold. I'll go to the 10 mile scale here on my nav display. And you can see we're pretty much on a course to intercept. ATC would say that heading for the intercept, you're clear for the ILS runway 04 right. Once we're cleared for the ILS, we can select the approach push button, and you can see here we'll get VOR low and glide slope armed. Once we are cleared for the approach, we can uh, usually I would have those lights on through 10,000 so when we're clear for the approach I usually put the runway turnoff lights on and when I'm clear to land I'll put the taxi light on just to use sort of as a reminder there we go we've just captured the localizer VOR loc is now active and single channel we're going to be doing a, a single channel approach uh, which basically means we are not arming the second autopilot so we're going to do this approach to a manual landing. All single channel uh, approaches are done to a manual landing. And we can see the glide slopes, uh, we're about 850 feet, 800 feet now below the uh, glide slope, so that's coming in. Uh, once glide slope capture occurs, it's probably a good idea at that point to uh, drop the landing gear and extend flaps to 15. Uh, flaps 15, eh, that's our maximum speed with flaps 15 right there is the yellow arc. Uh, that can also be seen down here on the placard. It's probably hard to, uh, to see on the video, but 15 is uh, 200 knots max, so we're well below that. So go. One dot uh, below the slope, we can go uh, gear down. And I'll 
uh, select flaps 15, we'll skip right over 10. Normal flap retraction schedule is uh, flaps 1, or sorry, flap extension schedule would be flaps 1, flaps 5, flap 15, and flaps, and then landing flaps being flaps 30 or 40. However, you can use uh, any flap setting uh, if you desire some extra drag or, or something like that. So our approach is going well here. We got the flap 15 out geared down and uh, we should complete our landing checklist. Uh, landing checklist. Let's see, landing checklist. So we've got landing gear down, speed brake is armed and the flaps are still to go. 1500 feet above the ground, I'm going to go ahead and extend my flaps to 30. There we go, flaps 30 with the green light. Uh, the ref is 148. So I'm going to set my speed bug to 153. I got calm winds today, so it'll just be a 5 knot additive to my V ref. One thousand. Thousand feet stabilized, Mr. Birch Allen seat set. Perfect. And I should have mentioned as well with glide slope capture, uh, that's a good time to set the missed approach altitude. And as well, uh, once you get localizer capture, you can then set uh, runway heading on the uh, with the heading bug. So I'm going to take the uh, auto pilot off. Auto One thrust hundred. is coming off. 50, and uh, 40, just 30, a couple degrees pitch up 90, here is all you need. Bring the thrust to idle. I was a little yeah. slow on bringing the thrust back, but.